how to use the Surface app with Arnold 5 and M2A version 2 with the AI standard shader. So I've got my shader ball here and on the left you can see the render view and on the top is the app itself. So first let's choose which shader we want to create. So I think we should go for the brass. Click this guy, there's a top render. And you can see right here the material attributes we will uh, implement. Then you get reflectance curves at the bottom here. And at the very bottom, you can have some uh, reference images on more or less you, uh, what the result should be look, looking like, like the roughness and the overall reflectivity. So uh, let's first jump into Maya and see what shader is assigned. So on the first uh, note, as you can see, there is a AI standard surface shader assigned. And I've got some color. I think the default is uh, something like 0.8 or something. So let's first start the render session and see what we get. I'm updating the full scene, hitting play. So this is my current result based on the shader I have selected. So what I tend to do for to creating metals is enable the way to be fully worn. And this is the base color. And this color is either base or the reflectivity depending on this shader. For different renderers or different shaders it's a different workflow so this is specific to the AI standard surface shader. So to create a metal you would need to enable the metalness to be fully worn like so and and then you have the option to to change the colors right. Let's just make sure this one is updating. So I'm not quite sure why it's not updating the render. Let's just stop this again. Oh there we go. I think it was just a simple bug. Anyway, so we're running. So enable metalness, and you can see that there's a different specularity now connected. And this is the base color of the reflectivity. So this is currently what we have. So to incorporate the brass, what you would need to do is enter these color values on reflectivity 0 0.9, 0 0.7, and 0.4 into the base color. So to do so, I open this guy. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Okay, just hold on a second. So to change the color, um, we will need to, either you can pick those colors. I'm not sure how good this will work. Uh, let's just see what values we actually get here. So we get RGB. Okay, so it's not the exact colors. So I'll just pick um, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 or 3. For green, we have 0 0.744. And for blue, we have 0 0.473. So this is my base brass color, right? And now what we can do is change the roughness. So the default roughness is, or this current roughness is pretty high. So this is now with a very shiny surface. And this is what the current result looks like. And it's it's already pretty close, but we want to get the spec colors, which is the edge tint. And the edge tint is defined by the specular color in this shader. So the specular color will get the edge tint for the AI standard shader. So let's do the same thing. Uh, 0 0.975. It will be a minor difference, but it is good to have them because they are measured values. And it gives you just a little bit more uh, realism on on the edge of the object. So now I pasted all those values in, hitting done. So my specular color is in this case the edge tint and my color in this shader is my reflectivity. So and all you can do now is you can just play with the roughness of the shader and you should get the desired result. And obviously this is the pure material the pure result and obviously nothing in the real world is perfectly clean so you would need to add some breakup maps or something like that to get just to get the more realism and obviously if you want to change different shaders you can go back to your to the app and let's choose uh, copper and copper is now these colors here and for the AI standard shader 
ETSA and Kappa, which is refractive index and uh, extinction coefficient, they are not supported in this shader. So that's why there is no use case for them in this shader. But if we want to change to copper, let's just change the colors quickly. I'll, I'll just pick those colors for a second. It, it won't be exact, but you, can, you get the idea. I don't want to enter those values now to waste your time. But this is how it should be done. And this would be now my copper shader. It's a bit pink, so obviously you would need to adjust the colors a bit. But this workflow is how you use the Surface app with the AI standard shader for Arnold 5 and Maya.